Seeing Brandy pregnant at Frisky's wedding was one of the biggest revelations ever in the whole Bluey series. But have you ever wondered who might be Brandy's husband and the father of her little one on the way? Did you know he might have been at the wedding and you just didn't notice? To find out all about it, stick around till the end of this video. Brandy Missing in the onesies episode, we find out that Chili has a sister, which is really cool, but during the scavenger hunt game played by Bluey and Bingo, we end up discovering that the biggest dream of the girl's aunt is to be a mom. And apparently, according to what Chili says, she's been trying but hasn't been able to fulfill her dream of having babies. This indicates two things. First, that Brandy's inability to have children doesn't necessarily mean she's infertile, but that she's been having fertility issues, which are two different things. Because for women's fertility problems, there are treatments that can help solve this issue. The second thing we can deduce is that it's very likely that Brandy is married since she's been trying to have babies for some time. And for that, it usually requires having a partner to achieve that goal. So if Brandy indeed has a husband or boyfriend and he's the father of her child, where was he at Radley and Frisky's wedding ceremony? And for that, we have two theories. But before we discuss them, if you're a Bluey fan, show us and comment down below hashtag Brandy, referring to the girl's aunt and the future cousin of Bluey and Bingo. Absence at the wedding. The first hypothesis about where Chili's sister's husband and the pup's father might be is based on one of the images we saw during the wedding. Since she's the homeowner's sister where the party was held, of course Brandy would have a place at the table with Chili. But when Radley gives his speech and announces to everyone that they won't be moving to the West anymore and will stay in Brisbane, we see the table where they all are and we can notice that next to Brandy, there's an empty chair. At modern wedding parties, for catering purposes, there's usually a precise definition of the number of guests for preparing the necessary amount of food. So, usually only the amount of tables and chairs for the expected people at the ceremony and dinner afterward are set up. So, that empty chair is a big indicator that there was originally a person who had a reserved space at that table, but ended up not attending. The most logical idea would be that since Bandit and Chili are a couple, just like Stripe and Trixie, who are another couple, couple, Brandy's partner would be next to her. But perhaps due to some emergency at work or health reasons, who knows, Bluey's aunt's partner couldn't attend the ceremony or the party afterward. This is one of the possible justifications that we'll surely hear from the series creators. But in reality, creators of deep series like Bluey like to control the entry and exit of new characters in their shows very well. And that makes a lot of sense, especially because the episode already had several new pieces of information, such as news about Chili and Frisky's adolescence, the appearance of Grandpa Bob who had been missing, and Brandy's pregnancy. Introducing a new character would be an extra element that could divert attention from these points that the script wanted to focus on in this episode, so he might be shown in the near future, maybe in the fourth season, when we get to know Bluey's aunt's new little pup. But there's also another option that would be a much simpler answer. He was indeed at the wedding all along, but many people didn't notice, as we'll explain now. Was he Rocco? If you're not associating the name with the person, Rocco is that friend of Bandit who lives near the house. We know he's close to Bluey's dad, since he's present in specific moments, such as inside Bandit's dream when he imagines himself scoring a great point in a rugby match. Or when Bandit is taking the girls to the park in the wagon ride episode, and they stop to chat for a bit. About this character, we know that he's about the same age as Bandit. Also, we know he has a mother who hasn't been shown in the series yet, and maybe even still lives with her, since she might be elderly and needs special care. Another thing we know about Rocco is that he works at the fair, just like Winton's dad, and makes incredible soap bubbles. Now, the question is, even though he's Bandit's friend, why was he at Frisky and Radley's wedding? Since Lucky's dad, Pat, who is much closer to Bluey's dad, wasn't present, why would Rocco be? According to the series creator and program writer, Joe Brum, each of the guests at the wedding ceremony had a special reason for being there. And with Rocco, it's no different. For example, we can see that Maynard, a friend and neighbor of Grandpa Morty, was at the ceremony right beside Brandy. This could be possible because Frisky and Chili have been childhood friends, kind of like Bingo and Leela, and have studied and grown up together. Thus, at some point in the past, while visiting Chili's family's home, which we saw is away from the city, Frisky met Maynard, who was a friend of Bluey's mom's family, and ended up becoming friends with him too. But this is hardly the case with Rocco, who despite being close to Bandit, is not necessarily friends with Chili or Frisky. Unless Bluey's parents have adopted a similar strategy to what they used to match Radley and his current wife with Brandy and Rocco. Because if we look at the double babysitter episode again today, we conclude that it was very coincidental for the two single friends of the parents to have been invited to take care of the girls, don't you think? 
Everything seemed part of a plan by Bandit and Chili's Cupids to bring the two together, and it's possible that in the past, they did the same thing involving Brandy and Rocco. So, they might have met and developed their relationship, but still didn't live together because of Rocco's mother's possible health issue. But even so, we notice that he's sitting right behind Brandy, who's next to her dad and Maynard. Since they're not a formal couple, Bandit's friend would have sat at another table, so no one knows the baby is his. After all, Brandy might want to keep it a secret, which is very possible. Another very possible thing is that if you subscribe to our channel now, it will be much harder for you to miss our upcoming videos about Bluey and other cartoons and animated films that we post here on the channel every day, so click on the button down below. But going back to talking about Bluey's aunt's pregnancy, there's also another possibility that Brandy got pregnant through artificial insemination. As we mentioned, we really believe that Brandy has someone in her life who's the father of her future baby, and he might really be Rocco. But still, we can see at the moment when Frisky is going to throw the bouquet to a group of unmarried women, among them is Bluey's aunt, which means that even if she has a partner, they're still not married, even though they're having a child together. Like Trixie's case, who is also in the same group of single ladies, even though she's the mother of two girls with Stripe, Muffin, and Socks, and lives in the same house as Bandit's brother, which indicates they're partners, but they haven't formally married, at least not yet. In fact, Trixie seems quite frustrated that Bluey's uncle caught the bouquet. I think she really wanted to formalize their union by the look on her face. But going back to how Brandy might have gotten pregnant, artificial insemination is indeed a very efficient technique where the person only needs a donor for the insemination procedure to be done and the mom can have a baby. This is an option widely used by people who have difficulty having children in the conventional way and is often used by people who are not yet officially married and by those who are. In any case, even if Chili's sister opted for this option, she would need a donor, and this person might very well be Rocco, who might very well be the friend Bandit and his wife chose to match with Brandy. Of course, there's also the chance, as we mentioned at the beginning, of being a completely new character who might be appearing in the upcoming episodes of the series, and surely the creative team of the show will choose the right moment to introduce this new character which could very well happen in the future episode where Bingo and Bluey will go to the maternity ward to see their new little cousin, since, judging by Brandy's belly size, shouldn't be too far off. And who knows, what many fans are speculating might happen. Not just one baby is born, but two, which is a greater possibility for those who undergo artificial insemination. This might be the case for the girl's aunt, so the girls wouldn't have just one new relative, but two. Honestly, that would be really cool. Now that I think about it, what will Brandy name her future little pup? Will he resemble Rocco? If he has big ears, then we know our theory was right. <laughs> but we also have another theory that's spot on. If you watch any of these two videos that are popping up right now for you, you're gonna love them. Call it intuition or experience, but if I were you, I'd click on one of them right away. 